Hello everyone, Karen here from One Family, One Menu. I wanted to spend a little bit of time outside of the kitchen with you guys. As you can see, around me and on me, uh, it is, it are, we're in the holiday season and I wanted to say hi, wish you guys a happy holiday, and also answer some questions that some of you asked me on Instagram and Facebook and on my story on Instagram and give you some answers. I picked five questions out of all of them. So my beloved husband who is behind the camera is going to read them for us. Okay, D. Desperado. Despradel. Despradel. Of all the dishes that you make, which one is your favorite and why? I'm gonna have to go with a dessert. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the tres leches and the reason is because my tres leches feels um, it tastes like my youth like what I used to eat when I was a much younger girl I'm very young still but um, when I was younger I grew up eating these desserts and the tres leches uh, is a very authentic flavor for me and I love the airiness of the sponge and the fact that it's not too sweet and the, the frosting uh, complements the sponge so well and then the milks are absorbed by that sponge and that is just very decadent. So I'm gonna go with the tres leches. Next question. Okay, from Vine to Wine wants to know, when did you discover your love for cooking? Vine to Wine, thank you so much. Um, I've always loved cooking. I've always been a very um, creative person and when I was a younger girl, a little girl actually, I spent a lot of time in the kitchen with my mom and when I was visiting my grandmother with my grandmother and my grandmother was a great cook, my mom is a great cook and I learned from them and I've really always loved to cook. When I chose to make this my career and chose to go to, go to culinary school, I was in my 20s, in my early 20s, because um, I was actually going on another career path and I decided that I was going to tap into my creative side, which I think I'm really good at. And here we are. Thank you. Next question. Okay, OMG by Geraldine wants to know, what's your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine is the French cuisine. Oui, oui, I love French cuisine because it is, the food is really great. I think it's amazing. And it's also plated and made to be very much like a canvas, like a painting on a canvas and it's delicious and I love it. And I also love the smaller portions and the fact that they have multiple courses and they're all smaller portions, which is really, really, really awesome. So yeah, there you go, French cuisine. Okay, adventures in feeding my fam. Hi, Andrea. Wants to know, have you ever cooked for a celebrity? And who did it? Yes. Uh, this was in culinary school, uh, Scott Conton, and I cooked my uh, my practice test, my practicum, my practicum test, um, and it, it was actually really good. He just told me to add a little bit more sugar to the fresh whipped cream, which I've always done ever since. So there you go. Okay, Marshall80 wants to know, what is your favorite color? Oh, well, my favorite color is, and it, I think it always has been, blue. Specifically, navy blue. I love blue, and blue should be everywhere. And my walls. I also wanted to tell you guys, by the way, thank you for all of you who asked me any questions. If you have any more questions, just go to any of my social media platforms which you can find at onefamilyonemenu.com and uh, on the home page on the right hand side you can click on any of those don't forget to follow me on instagram on facebook and subscribe to my youtube channel if you don't subscribe you don't watch my videos you need to watch my videos subscribe 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 and 
before uh, we end all of this, I wanted to let you guys know because some people ask me, what are these angels and this and that on my tree? Well, my favorite Christmas tree, if you guys haven't seen it, I might pop it up up here. Um, it's the Christmas tree at the Metropolitan Museum of Art here in New York City. And they have a Christmas tree that is enormous, like 20 feet tall. And it's basically, the, the main theme is angels. And it has like some candles and all the things, but uh, angels is the main thing. And it is my favorite tree ever, anywhere. I love it, it's beautiful, and I always try to recreate it. So, hey Matt, if you wanna send me some angels, I'm here, please do. I don't know that you know me, but just in case. All right, everyone, I want to uh, wish you all happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Make sure you are happy and you are thankful for everything you have and for all that you've achieved. And Merry, Merry Christmas. I hope that the new year comes with many, many great things for everyone and the insanity stops in 2020 and 2021 is filled with hope, happiness, and many blessings for all of you. I love you and take care. Bye.